Hello and welcome to this video series about the API functionality in FemDesign. This introduction video will give you an overview of the different functions and how they work together. The API functionality in FemDesign is built around the XML file format, which can be both read and exported by the program. XML is a common markup language, much like HTML, which is used to store and transport data. The language is human-readable, which makes it easy to use and understand. There are two main types of XML files used in FemDesign. The first one contains the structural objects and the loads. This file type is called strewXML. The second type of XML file is the script file. This is used to run different types of calculations and to export results. This file type is called FDScript. For more information about the scripting function, please visit the video below. Depending on your specific situation, it can be helpful to both edit an existing XML file or create a new file from scratch. It can be done with many different programming languages, for example Python or C++. This makes the API functionality in FemDesign very versatile and useful. I will now show you how the XML file is built. In this example, I have a simply supported beam with a point load in the middle of the span. I will save the model in strewxml format and open it in a text viewer. The XML format is built up by different tags in a tree structure. All elements needs a starting tag and an end tag. You define the end tag of the element by writing a slash in the tag. The top element is called the root element. In our example it is the database element. Inside this root element you will find other elements, or as you call them, child elements. From this, a logical system which contains the object of the model is built. An element can have an attribute. This value can be found inside the tag. For example, this bar element, which have an attribute called name, type, grid, and so on. An element can also have a text value. This is found between the two tags, for example here. In our example, we are using the Python library elementary to modify and create the different XML files. Please visit the link in the description for a complete documentation of this library. By using this method, we have created some examples which illustrates how to change an existing XML file or build an XML file from scratch using a wrapper. Please visit our wiki for a complete documentation, or continue to watch this video playlist for more information on how to use the API functionality. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.